what up boys and welcome back to another video so in this video we're going to talk a bit about a dungeon that i like to do with insanely good items and it's a part of this uh, new like mini series where i want to discuss or talk about why you should do a lot of my most popular dungeons because a lot of you guys you already know why i farm these dungeons but i'm getting so many questions lately like student why are you in rfd why are you in wailing caverns because people don't know what i'm after so i'm guessing that i've received a lot of new audience maybe from like classic when that was released or now in shadowlands so i figured that i would share specifically for what i'm after and i've mentioned it in previous videos and i've done like 100 run series and so on but sometimes there's items that i don't even get within those 100 run series and i still want to i still want to mention what i'm like potentially after though and what i could get and i'm also going to link down below a list of uh some of the uh the sets or the items that you guys should look after when you're doing this dungeon so before i keep on uh talking uh i do want to mention that you guys can still get this zero to 10 million gold guide 50 percent off we'll make sure you type in the code shadowlands into the discount field and you will get it for 50 percent off and the link to that is down below in the comment and description so i'm also going to start um so you guys can kind of like see the route while I talk of how I run it. Specifically on this run, I did it on my speed set War. He's not as fast as my Druid, but he gets the job done in less than six minutes. So it's fine. I'm never gonna, I'm not gonna be slow enough to the point where uh, it's not efficient. And uh, I'm not fast enough, uh, so I don't get like uh, locked out after 40 minutes. So uh, Wailing Caverns, first of all, uh, takes place all the way... Uh, in the northern um, uh, barrens right here all the way down here so um the fastest way to get her i usually go by ratchet and i fly over but if you can't do that you can also just go to mount hydro and fly down or if you're a druid you could also go to uh, feralist with dream grove and you can fly over there's a lot of options uh, to get her so um now that the location is out of the way the items that you're after, there's only like a couple of specific items. Uh, what I mean by specific items, I mean it's items that can only drop in Wailing Caverns and nowhere else. And some of those items are like uh, Globe of the Fang. There's like armor pieces are really bad in Wailing Caverns. They're too easy to obtain, so they don't have a great value at all. And um, the, uh, one cool thing about Wailing Caverns, though, it does drop the uh, the Deviate Hatchling, a battle pet, inside the dungeon. It's like can drop from all of the mobs. So there's a battle pet that you should look out for. But obviously, nobody's just going to straight up vendor a battle pet, so it's kind of obvious. Uh, but the best part about Wailing Caverns is that uh, it's the dungeon with some of the fastest selling transmog items in the game. Uh, actually kind of insane there's some world farm like open world farms that you can do in order to acquire the same items uh like these fast selling transmog items that also drop some whaling caverns so obviously if you can uh, get together a five man group you can farm it more efficiently than you could solo in whaling caverns but we all know that most of you guys prefer farms that you can easily do alone and not depend on other people but i'm also going to talk about uh, the options that you have at the end of the video if you want to if you have friends or guilds or anyone to farm with like what you could do to get these items but the items that you are after is pretty much every single item uh, in the uh, ceremonial set the ceremonial loan club specifically really good insane sell rate really high value in most realms it flies up the auction house and then you have the app original items so most of the items within these sets are going to sell usually the chest and the legs sells better than like belts and bracers obviously and uh, then you have the barbaric items and then the the prospector items so ceremonial aboriginal barbaric and then you have the prospector items but you also have the mystic items and the grisly items so you have six sets that you should look out for uh when you're doing uh when you're doing the farm like in whaling caverns as you guys can see that was my warrior ending the run at like five minutes and uh 40 seconds or something like that so the route is really simple the only part that i don't do is uh i don't go straight i'm gonna run inside the dungeon and show you it's just uh this one boss this guy the murloc boss i don't do that guy but i clear everything besides from going into this guy there's just not enough mobs to go out 
inside and kill him. So uh, that was the route and the items, the Deviate Hatchling Ceremonial set pieces, Ab Original set pieces, Barbaric set pieces, then you have the Prospector, the Mystic, and the Grizzly. A lot of good items in Wailing Caverns, and when you get him, you can check out the sell rate on him. It's uh, really, really good. So I'm also going to list these items in case you can't understand my accent. I'm going to list them uh, down below in the description. So whenever you go out and farm, uh, keep an eye open for those. However, I always recommend you to keep a uh, loot appraiser. And loot appraiser is going to give you like a ding sound and pop up on your screen whenever you get something with a high market value. So you never miss out on anything of great value. And when it comes to the five mats, the location where you can farm it, if you can find a group, the best one by far is going to be around this lake, the sludge fen. But it's not better unless there are multiple people doing it. So a five man running around this lake, very, very good. Now, besides the sludge fen, there's a spot up in dark shore in this lake. It's filled with murlocs and has the same loot table. So that location can also be farmed for the same set of pieces that I just mentioned. Uh, but that was it for today's video. So uh, let me guys, let me know what you guys think about these sorts of videos. Obviously, if you fucking hate them and are like, student, this is just remaking old content, you noob, then uh, I want to know. Uh, but if you like, if you like these sort of videos and you find them informative and helpful, then please, by all means, let me know so I know if I should keep on making them even though I probably will because it's my YouTube channel and uh, yeah, I do whatever the fuck I want to do. So thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. Make sure to press the like button. Apparently, it's supposed to help your algorithm so you get billions of views. Uh, so try that out and I will see you all in tomorrow's video. Until then, bye-bye.